Today we'll be going over the best performances of the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series season so far. Since we're talking about the best, we're only going to limit it to the top 10 in points. These 10 drivers have showcased at one point or another during the season up to this point that they could potentially walk away with the championship at season's end. As for the drivers who are currently outside the top 10 in points, don't worry, they'll eventually be covered in our best of the rest video. The reason we're only covering the top 10 is because when we talk about the best performances of a season, I go check who the top 10 in points are for reference because for me, it represents the best of our sport. And I'm not talking about the would-be playoff standings, no, no, no. I'm talking about the consistent point standings that are tracked before the playoffs begin. So without further ado, let's get into it. Currently 10th in the standings, just 85 points back from the lead is Kyle Larson. And it's crazy he's only that far back considering he is giving Ryan Newman's 2003 season a run for its money. The season up to this point has been the true definition of checkers or wreckers. Whether that continues is to be determined. Some fans have went as far as to say this has been a bad season. Well, this so-called bad season consists of two wins, six top fives, seven top tens, and a ton of DNFs, but it's all good. This is the playoff era we're in. You have to peak at the right time and get those wins when they mattered the most, and we've seen them do it before. Who's to say they can't do it again? Currently ninth in the standings, just 81 points behind the leader, is Joey Logano, and entering the off week, he was in need of some good finishes. Fortunately, he was able to get back-to-back -back third place runs at Gateway and Sonoma. Before that, they were looking a bit off their game. Something about Joey Logano in odd numbered years. Still, one win, five top fives, and eight top tens at this point is nothing to be ashamed of. But right now, the defending Cup Series champion is being outshined by his teammate Ryan Blaney. However, just like Larson, he has proven to win when it counts the most. Currently eighth in the standings, just 63 points behind the leader, is Denny Hamlin. After only two top tens in the first eight races, the last eight have been way better, but at the same time, very inconsistent. Including his only win of the season so far at Kansas, he went on to score four top fives in the last eight races, but he's also DNF'd in two of the last three races. Now granted that Charlotte won, was clearly not his fault. If not for the inconsistency, not only Denny Hamlin, but also Joey Logano and Kyle Larson would be way closer to the top seven. Not only are we about to go over the final seven drivers on this list, but also the top seven are currently just 32 points separated amongst each other. Christopher Bell currently sits seventh in the standings and only has one win at Dirt Bristol. But to open up the season, man, he was extremely consistent. At one point, leading the consistent standings for three straight weeks, but ever since Kansas, he has only scored one top 10, and that was in the last race at Sonoma. They've been a bit off for the past month, but at one point, they were clearly the best Joe Gibbs racing team. One win, five top fives, and nine top tens is a good enough season to absorb this kind of a blow, but hopefully after the off week, this doesn't continue. Currently 6th in the standings, just 29 points back, is Kyle Busch, and you couldn't ask for a better first year with the team. Not only has he brought RCR back to championship contention, but has also become one of the immediate fan favorites. Basically going from the villain to the hero overnight. I guess that's what leaving Joe Gibbs Racing in Toyota does for a driver. After his first win of 2023 and the second race at Fontana, there was immediate immediate championship talk, then he didn't win for a while until Talladega, and most recently won at Gateway. Three wins, five top fives, and nine top tens is a great start, and if I were to pick four drivers out of the top ten, for my current championship four picks, Kyle Busch is one of them. Currently fifth in the standings, just 25 points back, and also his back is hurting from all of that team carrying is Kevin Harvick. If not for that late caution, he definitely would've won Phoenix and already had his playoff spot locked in, but with four top fives and seven top tens, they have been extremely consistent, enough to be top five in points, and doing that for Stuart Haas 
in what is his swan song season is mighty impressive. This is currently on pace to being the greatest final season for any driver in Cup Series history. Stuart Haas Racing better be getting ready for the rebuild, because once Kevin Harvick retires, oh boy, you are going to miss him when he's gone. Since we currently have a tie for the third place spot, we'll do these two drivers sort of together. Both Ryan Blaney and Ross Chastain sit only 24 points behind the leader. Recently, Ryan Blaney scored his most monumental win in the Coca-Cola 600, but before that was putting together the best start of his career, totaling to four top fives and nine top tens. Without question, he's been the best Team Penske driver so far this season. But is this him taking the next step in his Cup Series career? Or after the off week, is inconsistency about to creep in? Personally, I think he's taking the next step, which is why, as of right now, I will put him as my second Championship 4 favorite. Ross Chastain was in my Championship 4 favorites at first, but all of this inconsistency he has shown the past month has started to leave me with doubts. Despite not getting a win, he was still the consistent points leader after the first 12 races. He has went on to finish both 22nd at Charlotte and Gateway, and finally scored a top 10 at Sonoma. While he's still considered a top 5 driver in NASCAR at the moment without question, I just can't quite make him a championship four favorite again just based off the most recent inconsistency and not being able to score a win yet. But he's tied for third in points for a reason, with five top fives and seven top tens, so I'm sure eventually a win will be around the corner. Since we've made it to the top two drivers in points, you already know these final two are in my championship four favorites. William Byron has finally had his breakout season, the long-awaited one with Hendrick Motorsports that we have been waiting for. Currently sitting 13 points behind the leader with three wins, seven top fives, nine top tens, and also a series leading seven stage wins. The only reason he's not first in the standings was due to their slow start. Even though they won two races, three of the first five had finishes outside the top 20. They've been in a groove as the last seven races have resulted in one win, four top fives, and six top tens. They're chasing down the points leader very quickly. It's not a matter of if, but when. When is William Byron going to eventually take the points lead from the number one driver on this list, Martin Truex Jr.? While one young driver is finally reaching his potential, Martin Truex Jr. is a former champion returning to prominence. After finishing second in the championship four in 2021, this team missed the playoffs entirely for 2022, but they were still top five in the consistent points. It wasn't like they were having a bad season, they just couldn't win. But now, all of the luck has gone their way in 2023. Two wins, five top fives, and eight top tens is good enough to take the points lead, and in the span of the last three races, they have jumped from fifth to first in the standings, with finishes of third, fifth, and first at Charlotte Gateway and Sonoma. They have a lot of momentum going their way, but I feel like it's a toss-up between who is the best at the moment, between Martin Truex Jr. and William Byron. So these are the best performances of the 2023 Cup Series season so far. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Who are your Championship 4 favorites? And we'll wrap up our So Far series going over the best of the rest. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.